Okay, folks, the hard work is done, the easy work begins. I say easy work loosely, because I have no idea how tough this is going to be, so let's find out, shall we? We now have our three characters. We have them with the stats that we require, we have them with equipment that we wanted. So we can now proceed to bang on some of the hardest things in the game. And hopefully, we'll hit them a few times, and they'll die! But we don't know, because it's been a while since I fought Dark Anima, it's been a while since I fought the Dark Major Sisters, and it's been even longer since I fought Penance, but Penance is the same almost every time you fight him. Unless they've changed anything in this version, and I don't think they have. Mechanically, they've changed the music, and we lament that. We mourn, we grieve, our bereavement is just, because the music is subpar at times. <clears throat> well, let's go to Mount Gagzet. So you'll notice there's something a little bit different here. To get Dark Anima to spawn, you have to go back into the cave in Zanakand, and you have to do the Waka minigame again, and it'll turn Anima up in Mount Gagza. And I'm happy to say that I hit the machine the first attempt after that debauchery in my playthrough, because when you're doing it this time, Every time you miss, Dark Anima sends monsters after you. But, here she, I say he, it's a she, technically. Which I'm sure some people are going to remind me of. So, let's see what she does. Let's bang on her a bit and see how this goes. To survive the overdrive, instead of doing uh, a summon, we're going to be doing Hyper Mighty G to get auto life on everybody. Pretty much the best thing we can do at this point to to survive it. Because Yuna's just not good enough to get in and get out in a swift manner, so what's, why bother? So it's either going to do pain or it's going to do its normal attack. Normal attack curses you and does a ton of status effects. Unfortunately, curse is something that hits people with Ribbon, which I kind of disagree with, because Ribbon's meant to get rid of everything. Isn't that the point of Ribbon? But we have to get rid of Curse, because it stops you from doing your Limit Break, and of course, we're going to need that. However, the damage on that physical attack is rubbish, as you saw, so we don't have to worry about it, other than the Curse on Riku. Pain is a little different. Pain is going to kill, because I don't have break damage limit, and it does big numbers. Oblivion is going to kill, but we're going to auto-life it, so that should be okay. And I should really entrust to Wacker to see what attack reels does here, but we'll just do some base attacks, just to test the pattern. Because I believe she also has a gravity move, which can kill. And I don't know if it's going to kill us instantly, so we're about to find out. Interesting. Asuna did not get rid of Curse. Oh, that was the gravity move. Ah, that's bad. I have high potions and I don't want them. So do you have to use a remedy on that? Do I have any remedies? How many high potions do I have? Hopefully none. One more, motherfucker. So... Uh, can she use something that gets rid of status effects? I doubt these are. These are all attack based. No. Shit. I don't have any remedies. And the problem is I can't kill her because we'll miss her probably if I try. I mean I can try. But I'll have to try with with Oren because he has the highest luck. 
Yeah, this is really bad. Please, Oren. Please. No. Yeah, my team's too fucking good to hit themselves. It's ridiculous. Can they dodge magic, though? I don't think they can dodge magic. Then again, my magic stat is pitiful, and her magic defense is really high. Yeah, should have double cast. And she's gonna... Oh my god! This is horrible! Ooh, death. I wonder if death will work. Let's double cast it. Where is double cast? There it is. Please die! Come on, death. Do it. Do it. Good lad. Yay! We got ourselves a dead bitch. Forget about it. And we're dead anyway. So... What's the fucking point? My god. One item, one stupid item, ruins that fight. I have no idea where to get them from, because you can't buy them, which is retarded. Uh, unless you can buy them from once, but we'll find out. Remedies. Where can I find quick remedies? Somebody's had the same thought as me. Bribe Gratz. God, I hate it when people just assume you know the fucking amount. We need the amount. <laughs> oh, game facts is so poisonous, man. It's hilarious. Ooh, Rin sells them on the airship. Awesome. Thank you, whoever put that comment on. Game facts, you are not one of the poisonous members of that community. There was another one. <laughs> it was like, how about you use <laughs> a fact to find where they are instead of posting this in this thread? Like, what a dick. People are so mean. I can understand if it's something retarded, like, you know, where do you save? But that's legitimately something that you might not know. Like, I once knew it, but I didn't know at this moment because I don't talk to Rin. So we're coming up on 90 parts, but I think considering we've done both Blitzball in those parts and we're killing Dark Aeons and Penance, I think that's a pretty decent figure. So Rin is... is he the second screen? You know... Was that walk just then, the, the tightest walk of old? The one that people hated? Because I still haven't figured out whether or not he runs faster in this game, but that seemed kind of slow just then. Not as slow as the loading times, God. Yes, my child. Right, Mr. Rin. I need to buy things. All the things. I need to sell some fucking high potions. Ooh, you can buy those. Interesting. Oh, you, you wonderful man. Right, let's get rid of this trash. Uh, can I? Thank you. Ah. Shut up. Check. Fuck off. Hello. Just repeating. But your pronunciation Yes, that's fantastic. Language is fascinating. I wish it would auto sort, I cannot stand. Welcome. Like, give us the choice to manually sort things because that's cool. But at the same time, just set it to automatically sort so we don't have to fuck about so much. Right, so now we've done that, our auto Thank portion you. is going to your auto patronage. portions with something we want rather than something we don't want. See what I did there? I made a redundant sentence. <laughs> it's going to do the right thing as opposed to the wrong thing, which is the opposite of what right is, so you should have figured that out before. Right. Let's try this again, shall we? I don't know if Stoic will be the best limit break here, or if Comrade will. Because Comrade guarantees two people get limit breaks faster than just a single target, and... Uh, Anima doesn't have the ability to kill me too well, unless she does the overdrive or pain, ah, here we go. because pain is kind of a death sentence. 
And the gravity move, of course, which does big damage, but not big enough. It is a move that does more damage the higher your life is, so not having break damage limit... Break HP limit, sorry. Is actually a good thing. Not as good as putting this game behind me, and I don't say that in a bad way, because I love this game, and I'm going to still continue my international playthrough with the mod. But the, but the post-game stuff, I, I'm not enjoying it now. I enjoy this part, I don't enjoy getting to this part. Getting to this part is really frustrating. Because I just... I'm too impatient now. I used to be much more patient when I was younger. And the irony is, I thought this part was the quick part and catching the fiends was the long part. The, the fiends literally took less than 10 hours to capture like, 10 of every fiend. It was so quick, it was beautiful. And then the, the leveling up literally took like 40 hours. I'm not even kidding. I wish I was. It's taken a long time. But people wanted to see it, and I said I would, and I'm a man of my word. Even if it means, like, killing myself, offer it a little bit. Right. Hopefully I don't mess this up. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So please do max damage, it'll make this much quicker. And of course it does a similar damage. Well, this guy has higher defense than Dark Yojimbo, it seems. Which, I suppose we should get. Can we mug it for all? Three stars, cool. Here we go, somebody's dead. Please be Wacker. Good lad. Oh, good girl. Whatever you want to call it. Good monster. Right, so... I'm going to do quick pockets because I want to try and get some attacks in. And we're going to quick pocket uh, X-Portion him. And from here we're going to beat on her until she gets just to the precipice of an overdrive. And then we're going to let her have a turn and then we can do the, the Riku thing. So far, this one is pretty manageable when you've got uh, Remedies, that is. Remedies just got me screwed over just then. So Wacker must have Comrade on because he did not build, generate any limit break, so I hope this happens to Riku, because then Orin will pick her up and Wacker should get some juice. Or maybe not, maybe they're on Stoic. Yeah, I've been fighting Yojimbo, they're on Stoic. Damn it. I don't know. I don't Something's happening. Something weird. But this is the turn where we need to do Hyper Mighty G and I need to remember how to cast it. I believe you use any of the barriers with any of the rarer things. Like Dorsa Tomorrow, Wings of Discoveries, Gamblers, Wallets and stuff. And we should get it. But after that, it's going to be interesting. But as long as she only hits one person, we should be okay. We just get our life up, and then we're okay. Right, mix. So, we mix any barrier. So, let's do Star Curtain. And we're going to do those Gillionaire things. Millionaire, whatever they're called. Gambler Spirits, them ones. That should be it. If it's not it, we're dead. That is it. Everybody has, like, everything now. And then she does this, and we get back up. So, <laughs> when I used to play this, and I used to see this limit break a lot, I never really thought it looked like that big guy from Labyrinth, but now I totally do. If his face had flesh on it, he'd probably look like that really friendly, gormless, giant creature uh, that appears in Labyrinth. <laughs> uh, when they're in the bog of uh, Eternal Stench, I think it's called. And I can't remember his name for the life of it. But the thing that sucks there is the MP loss. So what we're going to do here is we're going to have everybody use like the heroin addicts they are and we're going to use is it the healing water that gives you both HP and MP and we're going to use that to bring us back to top. You might be wondering well only Riku can use which is not true of course anybody who's done the sphere grid a lot 
you can get anybody the ability to use use as long as you get them there. So is it healing water? No, it's not healing water. It's healing spring, maybe? Healing spring. No. What the fuck is it then? Well, maybe they're in tonight that does that. I thought there was. Uh, that's not good. It's just me showing you my knowledge of all this shit. Not like the back of my hand, obviously. <laughs> So it might be time to chuck some elixirs. Yeah. Elixirs it is. I can steal them from Yojimbo should I need any more, but I don't think I should because you don't really need elixirs. Penance? I don't need elixirs for, to my knowledge. I've never used them before, I mean. And he physically attacks. And if he'd hit anybody else, we could physically attack him. Her. It's all in the mind. <laughs> uh, you know what I mean. Alright, here we go. Quick pockets. I got the poison! I got the remedy! How the hell is that song? Revered! Okay, can you just not cure curse? What the fuck is this trash? It's uncurable. I did not know that. Why is that like that? That's dumb as fuck. I mean, technically at this point, yeah, fuck this. I don't need to do this because she has her overdrive, but still, I, I don't like having a status effect that I can't get rid of without killing them. Maybe there's a special item you can use that gets rid of this, but even so, that, that's bullshit, that. It's cheating. I wish this did full damage, I truly do. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. It does do full damage against Penance, which makes no sense. Why do these have more resistance than he does, and he's the super boss. These are his flunkies. I suppose I should use Sentinel with her so that she jumps in front of damage and dies. Please kill Riku. Looks like she's leaning to the, her right. Might be Riku. Yes, good girl. So I think this one is one of the Dark Aeons that has a lot of life. I say think, I know it's got a lot of life. It's got the most life out of all of them, I think. Which makes the, the attack reels not doing what they could do all the more frustrating. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Ba, ba, ba. So the remake for Resident Evil comes out today, and I was mentioning earlier in this commentary that I couldn't see a physical release for it. I don't think it has one. And when I was checking achievements last night, there is a current gen version of it. They're just hiding it really well, which seems super strange to me. So I might be picking that up because there's an achievement for doing it with a knife only, which could be really interesting. There's also speedrun achievements for it, and I'm in a bit of a speedrun. Whoa, drop me pad. That's what I'll get for itching my leg. So, I probably shouldn't keep my team at low life like this because of the gravity spell, but my logic is if as long as Oren's max, he'll pick them up. And of course, pain is going to kill them anyway, so why bother? I need to be careful here, because I don't want to give her the overdrive this turn. 
And I think she'll get it if we do one more move. So instead... Uh, let's do some cheers. I was watching then for her overdrive going up passively on my turn. It's the type of thing you expect at this point. Of course, the any of the statuses that we're doing here where we increase our stats, you can only do them five times and then they cap, but five times is better than no times. You can also use a Riku mix ability to get it for you, should you want to do it that way. Ooh, physical. Interesting. Good lad, that's what I like to see. So Auron's now cursed, but we weren't going to use Limit Break with Auron anyway because it's uh, not great. I don't even have his ultimate, but his ultimate's trash. If his ultimate hit 20 times, it'd be amazing, but it doesn't. It hits like twice. It's my biggest gripe with some of the overdrives on this game. None of them are multi, 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 multi hit except for Wacka, and that's why Wacker's is the most useful. Because it does the most. Nobody's measuring them on how many particles they're using, because nobody bloody cares. We want to see the damage, we want to see those big numbers. So, Anima doesn't even counter-attack, which is great. Star Curtain and... The thing I always forget the name of. Gambler's Spirit. Oblivion. Beware Oblivion is at hand. That is the ultimate cheat code for Turok 2 on the N64. It will unlock all the other cheats. Give me back my money! So the problem with this is the MP situation. I'm trying to think, is there a better way of getting my MP back than using an elixir? Of course I could use a mega elixir. But they're even rarer. But once again, an item I never use. Never use mega elixirs at all. I think I'm going to use one, why not? Because after this, I'm not going to have those items for anything else, so... Might as well toss one. Look, I've got 16, for God's sake. Like, it's crazy. Shit's crazy, fool. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Go on, Wacker. Give me them crits. Give me them sexy crits. One thing I've noticed too is Riku wasn't using X Potion after her physical attack. I have no idea why. There must be some kind of property to that move where uh, it doesn't proc it, it doesn't trigger it. Right, look, she's not using it. Very interesting. I made a mistake earlier. I'm glad I did not live to regret it. Because Curse stops you from doing overdrives. I thought I had like a brain fart that it stops you from building overdrive. And of course, if she'd not been pained afterwards, she wouldn't have been able to use it and we would have died all because of my mind just drifting and not paying attention. Which is a very dangerous thing. So we hope that she kills her with pain next turn, or I'm gonna have to kill her with death. And she chose not to, of course. So we'll attack all the way up until she's one turn away from getting that overdrive.
which I believe is probably the next one. And then we'll... I'm gonna just try and do some double cast of death, because she's gonna take his, his MP anyway, and this doesn't take MP, but death does. Death. Death. That hits again? Awesome. I've never seen death be that good. And her luck is like 190, so her, her luck is pretty damn high, if you're wondering. Ow. Ooh! What are you doing, Chris? Huh, don't do that. Use another cheer. Like, I wonder if you have 255 luck if you'll dodge the physical. Let's do that. Get that luck up a little. Physical on Arn. Go on, Arn. Show her the way. So we have to hit this bitch, what, a hundred times? Maybe a, a couple less because of attack reels. Still, it's, it's a long fight. But the only real mistake I have to make sure is that we don't end up getting cursed when Oblivion's coming. As long as I can stay on top of that, or I don't cock up the mix because I'm not paying attention, we should be okay. Uh, my mind does wander, good no. Good lord! Star Curtain, Gambler's thing. Gambler's thing. Like one wrong mix and it's all over. <laughs> I always wonder what that out outer thing is. Like, it makes her look like she's a clam. Some kind of bizarre, like, rosebud thing. I bet they had a lot of fun designing this one. It's crazy. Spike knuckle dusters. And this tendency to steal our MP. So the Mayaju sisters are going to be interesting because, if I'm not mistaken, when you fight them, they immediately do their limit break, which is a death state for the, for most cases. I don't know if you can auto life through it, but we'll we'll be finding out shortly in the next episode. Dragon Ball Z. Alright, here we go. One, two, one. Two. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. You might wonder why I don't do the first one too there. Well, I don't trust it. It's almost like a superstition. I don't know why. Okay, so Riku's got that overdrive. We're set for the next Oblivion. Here comes the pain. <laughs> Here comes the pain! And she killed Riku. Cool. Cool story, bro. But yeah, compared to, like, Bahamut, Bahamut's gonna be tricky because he's dangerous. You know, we, we can do Hyper Mighty G through Mega Flare, but Impulse is still really dangerous. Because I think Impulse does the same, I think Impulse is gonna curse us as well. Which makes that fight much trickier than this one. I don't remember the Major Sisters being very difficult. Oh, there he goes. That was 29 minutes, 46 seconds, but there was a retry in that, there was a reset, and there was some shopping, so give or take about 20 minutes for that guy. But he's a bitch. Never found Anima to be difficult, but I've never tried it without a sphere grid, because I hear that that's a nightmare. Ooh, Acropolis, what's that? You had to ruin it, didn't you, with Death Proof? Had to ruin it. But there's the first one, folks.